Warda says, mostly we talk about segregation of girls and boys, but now homosexuality is very common in schools and colleges, etc. What should be done to control that? This issue is not much discussed. We focus about segregation, etc., and forget about this. And at the end, we wonder what just happened. First of all, generalization is not a positive thing at all. To come to an incident that is isolated and to make it the norm, to make it the trend, this is unfair. And it is against what Allah had told us and taught us and commanded us in the Quran. And that is to be fair. You can't label the people of a country to be all drunkards, fornicators, womanizers, just because a handful of their citizens went to Europe and did heinous things. As it is unfair for me to tarnish the whole of the Christianity religion, Christian religion, and say that's a religion of violence because of the civil war in Ireland, for example, between Christians that lasted over a hundred years or so, so many hundreds of thousands, if not millions killed. This is unfair. So to claim that this is widely spread in schools, is an exaggeration and an overstatement. This is not true. Does it exist? Of course it does. Muslims are not angels, they're human beings. So there might be homosexuality like everywhere else. There might be fornication like everywhere else. There might be people who do drugs or drink alcohol. This is normal but it is, is it the trend is it the norm that people do this in public and speak about it definitely not so first of all we have to be careful before generalizing such a description second of all do we have this yes we do but what is the percentage one in a thousand maybe one in 10,000, probably, give or take. How to control this? It is not something that you control. See, Islam is a way of life. It is not rule number one, regulation number five, that you come and implement. It's a system. Once you have the system, you have a perfect community and a society. Once the system is imbalanced, you'll have errors and you'll have such things similar to what you had described. Why? In Islam, we're ordered to lower the gaze. If you defy Allah's command and you allow the children as they grow up to watch things that are prohibited in Islam, to listen to things that are prohibited in Islam. And the children grow up watching mangas, watching cartoons that have mixing, Tom and Jerry, when the cat wants to seduce or lure the mouse, it paints its tail as if it's a mouse, a female mouse wearing a bikini. Now the children grow watching these things, so they believe that such attraction is only natural. As they reach puberty, their desire grows. When they look around them and they cannot find a legitimate place to fulfill such desires. Here we have the loophole in the system that drives them to homosexuality, or some of them. Why? Because they did not follow and implement 
the rules and regulations of Islam. So how to stop this in our schools? By going back to the teachings of Islam. By taking care of our children from an early age. Not trying to inflame their desires to the opposite sex. Not to stir these ideas in their minds to look for such things because they see it on TV, TV series, on movies, on video clips, and it's the norm. I remember when I was like seven, eight years uh, old, when my parents, who were not practicing at the time, used to watch the 16 milliliter, milli meter, I think, 16 millimeter uh, movies in, in, in our home theaters, whenever there was a random kiss. And movies back then were so clean that they might qualify now to be considered Islamic. And this is an exaggeration, but it was way clean than today. Whenever a random kiss was there, we used to hide behind the curtains because of our bashfulness and that this is something taboo and we should not be watching this. Nowadays, this is the norm. So it is us who are to blame. When we bring up our children to see these things, to watch video clips, when they watch a famous uh, uh, um, male or female singer singing a song, that has a plot and it involves a boyfriend, a girlfriend, nightclub, dancing, bedroom, uh, a, a bar. And they watch this because the music is fine and they see something that is implanted in them. They need a legitimate way to depressurize whatever is inside them they cannot find. This is what causes a problem that needs to be fixed. However, we have schools of tahfiz, we have circles of knowledge, we have groups that take them to play football and take care of them and bringing them up Islamically. We should focus on such activities that would take their mind off these subjects and Allah Azza wa knows best.